For as long as I can remember, I've been fascinated by the night sky. That passion to explore the heavens above has led me on a journey to image the incredible objects of our solar system, galaxy, and beyond. Through this series, I hope to share my experiences with you as we go out to explore the night sky together through the joys and struggles of astrophotography. Our object tonight is the planet Saturn. First observed by Galileo in 1610, he actually wasn't aware that he was looking at a ring structure when he first observed it. He thought it was a large body surrounded by two smaller bodies because of the telescope and magnification that he had at that time. About 45 years later, another astronomer realized that those two other bodies were actually a structure of rings. Now, 400 years later, we're going to go out with a telescope and a DSLR camera to try to take a picture of this incredible planet. To do that, we're actually going to take a video, and we're going to be taking the best frames of that video and stacking it into one image to bring out a sharp final result. And to explain more about that, let's head on over right now to the telescope to see what we're going to be working with tonight to image Saturn. So I'm out here with my telescope and DSLR camera to begin our imaging of the planet Saturn. Like I said earlier, we're actually going to be taking a video of this object at a high frame rate. The higher the frame rate that we take it at, the more we'll be able to pick out the best frames later on to stack them into one image to bring out sharp, fine detail of this beautiful planet. So I've got my Orion XT8i telescope set up right here with my Canon DSLR connected to it along with a 3 times Barlow lens. So that's going to make my 1200 millimeter focal length about 3600 millimeters for imaging Saturn tonight. The difficult part of this process is actually finding Saturn in the sensor of the camera. It's much more difficult than a low powered eyepiece like I would normally use just to view it visually. So I'm going to begin tonight by just finding Saturn in the finder scope and then trying to find it in the sensor of the camera with that on live view. So let's get started with that. There's Saturn right in the crosshairs. It should all be aligned pretty well. Turn this on. All right, there it is. Okay, so let's check on our focus. See if we can get it a little more sharp. All right, that's pretty good. All right, we've got everything set up and ready to go to capture our video of Saturn. Since I don't have a tracking telescope, I'm actually gonna have to shift and move the telescope as Saturn is moving through the field of view. So pretty much every time it gets to the edge of the camera sensor, I'm gonna have to move it back to the starting point and have it just keep going through it time after time after time for probably five or six minutes to capture tens of thousands of frames of it at 60 frames per second. So let's try to do that right now. Saturn is aligned again. We've got it framed and focused pretty well. Let's press record on this and move it back to the starting point. Okay. I'll let go of it and let Saturn sail across the sensor of the camera. 
Later on, we're going to be using software to pick out the best frames of this. I've got detailed tutorials on how to do every step of this process, and I'll be sure to leave a link to those in the description below. And it's about at the edge, so let's move it back to the starting point again. I lost it. There it is. And we're going to keep doing this for about six or seven minutes. captured some very good video of Saturn over the past five or ten minutes. Scene conditions are pretty good, it's humid, uh, skies aren't perfect, but uh, for this time of year I think we're going to get some really good footage out of this to hopefully bring out some really sharp detail of this planet. So let's move on to that part of the process right now. From the telescope to post-processing, we end up with this final image of Saturn. This is my wife's favorite sight through the telescope, and it's always so enjoyable to go out to observe and image Saturn every single year. Thank you all so much for your support, and clear skies from Late Night Astronomy.